Hello everybody, I'm a rainbow and I'm going to help you with some setup for Quest Games Optimizer, the absolute best app for your Quest 2 or your Quest 3. And once you've got it installed on your headset, we're going to pick up from there. So you go ahead and start Quest Games Optimizer. And the first time it starts after you power up, you have to check always allow on network. That'll let it run until you power down your headset. And you'll be good to go from there. And when the menu comes up, you'll be looking at something like this. Any of the programs that have green icons under them have some sort of profile. Those three little dots means that there is a profile loaded, even if it's not being run. So the one with the battery and the, the couple of people, that means those profiles are active if you start up that program. Up at the top, that's notifications. That we update when they get new profiles. There's one for hubris. The next icon is to turn your guardian boundary on and off. ADP has to be green for the program to work. Question is the help. And the three little uh, b parallel bars are where your general settings and your video capture settings are. And we will walk through both of those things shortly. I believe these are fairly self-explanatory. Optimization, auto detection, I would leave those on if you want the programs to run whenever you click anywhere on the menu. Where the display type is, that just controls the menu, whether you have three icons across, four icons across, I think it's four or five rather, four icons across, five icons across. All right. And I think that looks better than them stacked up, but hey, it's a matter of preference. Let's go back to settings. I'm going to put those back to three across. And down here at the shortcut, that's the one probably most everybody use. Now, I have profile loaded up, and it's any of those icons on that lower tray. You can use any of them, quick settings, notifications, but profile is the one people probably select least so it's the one that seems to work the best you just type that in there and go these other two things are if you have the add-on pack now the ovr metrics tool is useful and i'm not going to really cover that but if you make changes and you're wondering what's holding you up if you run that tool while you're in a program it can give you an idea you know too much cpu too much gpu so let's take a look at a township tail and you see it has three bars, but no other icon, but it actually has five of those profiles you can load. And the one up top with the don't run means just unload any of them. And you can pick any of those profiles. They're already there. Let's go ahead and hit edit and you will see them. And that's how they're set up already. And you can select the three little dots at the end of any of them. And that will bring it up down in the personal profile. And then you can change them from there. So you don't have to start from scratch. But if you are starting a personal profile from scratch, you can do it right there. I usually start with resolution. Pick one and work my way up. I'll make one change at a time. So... I'm using off that, and you can see it's, it says it's a personal profile because you got the two little guys standing there. And if you decide you don't want to run that, you want to go to HD, you just click on that. Super easy to use. And let's go down and create one that we don't have, and let's go ahead and go to grab. I think I was messing around with personal profile. I'm going to reset that, and we'll go back and look. And then you, you see it has no green icon which means it has no profile of any kind associated with it let's go back into edit now we're going to make a change to resolution and we can just pick one and then if we jump back out you'll see it show up with the two little people icon right there personal profile loaded up for that and let's go ahead and run it real quick and take a look Oh, and it's a new lobby. Wow, look at that. The edges are just super clear. I like it.
All right, that was grab with one. Let's go in, make another change, see if this is any better or any worse. And that's pretty much the process. So now we're going to go down and we're going to mess around with the CPU a little bit. Let's go ahead and just set it for medium. And then we're going to make one change at a time. And then we'll go back, save it as a personal profile, and we'll jump back into grab and see what happens. And it might take a little bit to iterate through these things, but you'll keep doing it. Let's go back in there. And I'm done messing around with this right now. I usually don't use anything for the rendering. Um, I find it throws things off. You may have a different experience, but uh, I usually leave that one alone. Let's go ahead and reset it. And we'll go back. So we have no profile loaded up against Grab right now. All right, let's go ahead and we're going to look at video capture settings. Now, these, um, once you apply them, they will overwrite any settings that you may have as default for your camera. And I have found out that I can overwrite some of these things a little too much. The one thing to be aware of is that side-by-side -side for 3D. I generally go for 1080 on this right here. 1440 or higher, I have had bad things happen. It doesn't seem to work well for me. Um, I haven't experimented enough with that. Landscape compression quality, and then the frame rate, I usually leave it full frame rate. That'll capture whatever the, if you've got the camera set for 36, that'll capture, the, capture it at that. So that's usually good enough. All right, everybody, I'm a rainbow. I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, please let me know in the comments. If it wasn't, let me know in the comments. What were you looking for? All right, everybody, y'all be good. Take care now. Bye-bye.